so today we are making kind of like potato burgers so what you do is cook potatoes then you kind of mash them up with some beans and peas then you add some spices and it's bread crust on top and then you put them to bake that's it that's it Mixing again. So this is a final product. You can put it in a, in a bun. Uh, we don't usually eat bread because it's higher sodium. Um, then you can put your tomatoes, whatever you like. And take it. Eat it for one. So what are we doing today? We're going for a mountain bike ride and I already had the date strawberry smoothie that I showed you in another video. Um, so that was about 1500 calories I guess and I'm gonna show you what I bring. So we're going, it's one o'clock something now and I'm bringing Some my bananas here. Five. One box. Another water. And another full box of dates. Um, just in case. Of course, I'm not gonna fish any everything because that's over. Just one package of dates is around 1,200 calories. Um, and see you at the trip. So we're just on the bikes right now and we got to the steep hill here and we got um, the bikes that can go low with gear because there are old bikes but what else you can do here. <laughs> so you're walking and sweating the salt out so yesterday we had kind of uh, salty dinner because we were waiting for potatoes to be cooked so we had some bread and beans and every time I have something like this um, every time I have something higher in salt I have headache next morning and my body is just trying to get rid of it so and I notice it every time I have something higher in salt I get headache Sometimes it depends, sometimes I have more, like I can't even eat something, like I have to skip breakfast, sometimes lunch, because my body is just like trying to get rid of the toxins. But today, just had some breakfast and now I'm sweating the salt out and I already feel much better. Um, let me know how if you feel headache sometimes from salt and get out there and sweat it out so we just stopped in the shadow here for a little break and I'm gonna drink some water I always prefer stopping more times and for shorter breaks rather than rather than once twice for longer breaks but it's your preference I have few bananas now. Okay, so one tip if you have a wet shirt after exercise, just put it on top of your backpack and it's gonna dry out on the sun. Now I'm gonna have like two bananas. So it's almost three o'clock now and I had four bananas so far and now I'm on to the dates.
Mm. Try to eat as many as possible. Definitely with smoothies it's easier to get the calories. But I just didn't I was too lazy to make a smoothie and or didn't want to. Mm. And the road is the road is much more grassy than before. Because we're here in um kind of like late winter time, early spring, and the grass was still not growing. And now we've, we are struggling to get with the bikes, but before we were just hiking through here and we thought it would be a good idea to go with the bikes much faster. And we don't know where we're gonna get, so we'll see. Adventure! So we are mountain biking right now. Oh, excellent, lots of grass around. Whoa. We got some ticks as well on us because there is high grass. Wang bang bang, wang bang bang bang. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is adventure, especially when you have to record at the same time. Oh. So. We just went to the end of the road and we realized there was just some hunting house or some house for cutting woods, something like that. So we had to go back. We thought we we're gonna get by this road to another village and then go back by another road. So we just have to get back through the same road. It's fine. Just in nature, enjoying. So we yeah. He's not even going away. Hmm? Yeah, there can be more. More? Be careful. This is pretty small. Mm -hmm. It's a baby. I think there is a bigger one. It's a pretty small one. Okay, it's going away. Okay, now it's getting the speed. Okay. We are finally out of the forest. All the snakes behind. And I'm gonna record a little bit how we go down. We have shitty brakes too, so couldn't record because it was steep, but I tried to record a little bit now. Let's go. We wanna eat now. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna break by the right one. Okay, let's see.
Oh. I definitely need to buy GoPro because recording with one hand is not really good. So anyway, I want to talk about like a few minutes ago we didn't know where we are, just going on some road and we're not sure if we're gonna get down. But I think you need that kind of uncertainty a little bit in your journey where you don't really know where you're going, but not too much. Like you're gonna, if you have like all day, you can a little bit go and explore, but make sure you're home by, by the evening. So just check the amount of time that where you get some road and make sure you have time to get back as well. Um, don't just leave it on like 100% this is the way so we risked it a little bit we went down and we found the road and the village is just here so we're just gonna keep on going by the road um, so it was easy we knew there is the, the road is going somewhere down but we didn't know if it's gonna finish earlier and there's gonna be more woods or not so it's all good um, so catch you later So let's go a little bit to the left. Yeah. Let's try some cows here. So <clears throat> we finished the bike ride and are resting here a little bit and mm, I ate almost all the package here. Mm, this is dried one. So there's just a few dates left. So I had around more than around 3,000 calories already. I'm gonna have around 1,000 more. So I'm starting off my dinner with leftover potatoes here. That's a laptop there. And pasta. I'm gonna have two or three plates, we'll see. That's it for today. Thanks for watching everyone. See you tomorrow.